Hello Hearthlings, today we're going to be talking about silk. Silk is a very expensive and time consuming cloth. In order to start making it, we're going to need a male and a female silk moth. You'll find them flying around everywhere outside. If you check on the minimap, they're all going to be labeled female, so you'll have to collect them to reveal their gender. You'll also need mulberry tree leaves and a few herbalist tables. After you've collected your silk moths, you'll want to pair them up and put them into a container. They live for about one in-game day, so you'll need to be quick in finding each one of me. Each pair will lay about 5 to 10 eggs when they breed and die. The quality of the eggs will be between plus and minus 5 of the average of the parent. You can store the eggs indefinitely for whenever you're ready to start the process. You'll put the silkworm eggs onto the herbalist table. After one in-game day, or 7 hours 18 minutes, they will hatch into silkworms. If your herbalist table quality is below that of the egg, it will reduce the quality. Next, we'll need to move the silkworms into a container with mulberry leaves. Silkworms eat leaves every 12 hours in game, which is 3 hours 39 minutes. If they miss more than one meal, they will die, so you need to transfer and feed them within one day or 7 hours 18 minutes. Each mulberry leaf can be eaten 8 times, and each silkworm eats 4 times to become a silkworm cocoon. One mulberry leaf can feed two silkworms. A fairly optimal ratio I've found is 56 silkworms and 28 mulberry leaves in a cupboard. Make sure you don't stack the silkworms because they won't be able to eat the leaves and they will just die. Whenever a silkworm eats a leaf of lower quality than itself, the silkworm's quality will lower. So you should think about growing your own mulberry trees to get higher quality leaves. So now that you have your silkworm cocoons, you should put a few away to become silk moths of a random gender after 2 in-game days, 14 hours 35 minutes. You should boil the other cocoons to get a silk filament. If you have the skills gardening and forestry, you will have a chance to get a second silk filament. But with a skill druidic right, you will be guaranteed to always get two filaments per cocoon. Just make sure you don't drop any of the filaments on the ground when boiling, because they will disappear. So, with your filaments, you're going to take 10 and a stick to a spinning wheel to make a silk thread. 10 of these threads will make one silk cloth at a loom, and that's the silk making process. If you have any corrections or your own suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Good luck out there, Hearthlings.